you would have pricked me with a pin. I wouldn't feel anything. I'm still in shock. Being part of the Grammys? Come on. That's like your birthday and Christmas and Hanukkah and everything all in one. So I'm, I'm stunned. I still, you know, maybe I'll wake up in a week and say, you're in the Grammy Museum, but it hasn't hit me yet. I'm still like, what? <laughs> you know? Ernie made all of us know, like, you know, he was more than just somebody that worked for the press, and he was, he was like, truly, like, a part of the culture. I'm grateful. I'm grateful I survived. I'm grateful that they acknowledged my work. Uh, I just turned 75, and people are saying, give him his roses while he's here. And trust me, that's how I feel. This community, what was most important for us to be here was to provide an opportunity for people to come and experience, learn about music, learn about culture, and celebrate a month like this, like Black Music Month, and learn how impactful this music has been to all of us, to all of our lives. I always say these people not only made the soundtrack of their times, but they made the soundtrack of all of our lifetimes as well. So it's great to share it with especially young people in the area. It's our attention. If I only had two words to say, it's music. It's, uh, it's what we need to happen now, right now, especially now. And um, I want to hear everybody's song. I want everybody to have a song. Mom, the legendary soul singer Linda Jones, who recorded such hits as Hypnotize, and so many were signed to Warner Music. Um, a street was named. She was born and raised in Newark, spent her last few years of her life here in Newark, so she is the daughter of Newark, New Jersey. And um, they named the street after her on her birthday, which is December 14th. And every uh, December 14th is Linda Jones Day in the city of Newark, New Jersey. Like anything we gave, it was like stuff from the stage. It was stuff we was wearing. It's like the blood, sweat, and tears, I call it. So when the Grammys are like, we want something that, well, we're going to be like, we're going to give some stuff nobody has, they don't see unless they see it on stage or seen it years ago. And so it's in the archives and the treasures. Prudential Financial has been the founding sponsor of the Prudential Center uh, as well as the Grammy Museum experience. We've been in the city for 150 years. This is our headquarter city and we uh, strongly support the arts and cultural sector in, in Newark and we are thrilled that the, the Grammy Museum is here in the city. The Grammy Museum offers an opportunity for our young people to learn about the rich history of uh, artists from the, the city of Newark and the surrounding area in New Jersey. First of all, the fact that we, of all the places they could have put a Grammy Museum, they picked New Jersey, which they should, and of course the Prudential Center, and the reason really is the partnership that they have with Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment, the owners of the Devils and the Prudential Center. It's amazing that we have this here. New Jersey deserves it. We have a lot of Grammy Award winners here. People don't realize it, and a lot of stars from here, so it's great to be able to share their stories with so many people in this area.